Welcome, and thanks for your interest in Komatsu products. Today we're going to cover how to properly conduct a pre-operation inspection for the Dash 11 excavator. Now the reason we do a pre-operation inspection is just to take a quick look at the machine and inspect it for any damage, excessive wear, or any leaks. Getting in the habit of doing this will go a long way towards maximizing the longevity and the production of the machine. Everything we cover today is also included in the operation and maintenance manual inside the cab. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so on an excavator, we're gonna start at the work equipment and work our way back towards the machine. If we're configured with a bucket, we'll start there. Get down, take a look at the teeth, the cutting edges and the shanks. Work our way up to the pins and the linkage. What you're looking for here is to make sure everything's getting the proper amount of lubrication and to make sure that the keeper bolts are in place. From here, you can step back and start your visual inspection of the arm and the boom. So you work your way up, you're just looking at your lines and your hydraulic cylinders and also all the welds to bring you all the way back to the machine where you come to your boom cylinders, where again, you can check for your lubrication, make sure it looks all right. Take a look at your pipes and your hydraulic lines again. Take a peek at your uh, top hat, your swing circle, and then also you can always step back here. Take a look under the machine and see if you notice any leaks. Okay, so now that we've finished here, we can go ahead and work our way around to the side of the machine. Go ahead and get up onto the upper structure, but before we do that, we'll take a look at our access points, make sure everything looks okay here. And also, take a quick peek at our handrails and our mirrors, and make sure they all look good too. Anytime you access the machine, also use proper mounting and dismounting technique. So as we make our way up to the top of the machine, the first thing we're gonna do is open up the first step, which is the location of your storage box, and I'll show you windshield wiper fluid. We'll make our way to the second step, which is the location of the def tank, which you can tell by the blue cap. Okay, so now that we're all the way up on top of the machine, first is the location of your fuel fuel spot. These machines utilize ultra low sulfur diesel. It's also a good chance to take a good visual inspection of the backside of the boom and check out your brackets and lines and pipes. This is the location also of the lube bank for the backside of the boom cylinders. You got your swing circle oil check station here, and you got a really good look at the control valve to make sure that all the hydraulic lines look good and there's no signs of leaks. Okay, so now we're going to continue to an engine inspection. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Just going to do a simple visual check, looking for any kind of debris or any kind of leaks. This is also the location where you check your engine oil. If you need more extensive information related to the engine, just please refer to your operation and maintenance manual. Okay, so now that we're back down on the ground, we can continue with our undercarriage inspection. What you want to do is just take a step back and do a visual inspection of the idler, the shoes, pads, and rollers. Take a look at the track tension, make sure there aren't any signs of excessive sag. And we'll finish with our final drive in our sprocket. Okay, if everything looks all right right here, go ahead and open the door to the pump room. We're only going to be checking for a couple things in here. First is going to be visually looking at our filters and our hydraulic lines to make sure there isn't any signs of leaks. And then we'll take a look at our sight glass and make sure our hydraulic fluid level is okay. Okay, so now that we've made it to the back side of the machine, the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at our rear view camera. Just make sure there's no damage. Then go ahead and take a look underneath the machine, look for leaks. Also take a look at the back side of the frame, make sure that there's no damage to that. So it's also a really good opportunity to take a look up at your undercovers to make sure that there's no damage there. If everything looks good here, we can go ahead and continue around to the other side of the machine. So we get into this compartment, you got quite a bit of stuff to look at in here. You got your coolers, you got your batteries, your air filter, your engine coolant, standard pattern change valve, and your main battery disconnect switch. This is all visual checks here. Want to make sure there's not excessive debris or any kind of plugging in the core on your cooler. There's no corrosion around your batteries and all your latches to your air filters are secured. And finally, that you have the right amount of fluid in your engine coolant. If it all looks good here, go ahead and work our way to the cab, but before we do that, we'll take a step back, perform the same visual checks of the undercarriage that we did on the other side of the machine. Go ahead and open the compartment here, take a look at our exterior cab filter. Once we arrived at the cab, we can go ahead and step back again for visual inspection of the mirrors and the windows, make sure everything looks good. If everything's all right, we'll go ahead and check our access points prior to entering the machine, and then we'll go operate. 